One attack on confidentiality is called eavesdropping, where an attacker, Eve, might gain unauthorized access to information being sent between Alice and Bob. So for example, if Alice and Bob were chatting on instant message, or if Alice sent an email to Bob, the potential exists. In other words, there is a threat that Eve might be able to hear that communication. There are various packet sniffing tools, such as Wireshark and TCP dump, that set a machine's network interface card into what's called promiscuous mode. If Alice, Bob, and Eve are on the same local area network where packets are being flooded, for example, if they were being connected by a hub that flooded all packets everywhere, or if the learning switch did not have an entry for Alice or Bob, then Eve might be able to hear some of those packets. If the network interface card is in promiscuous mode, then Eve's machine will be able to capture some of the packets that are being exchanged between Alice and Bob. It's worth thinking about how different types of traffic might reveal important information about communication. So for example, the ability to see DNS lookups would provide the attacker information about, say, what websites you're visiting. The ability to capture packet headers might give the attacker information not only about where you're exchanging traffic, but what types of applications you're using. And the ability to see a full packet payload would allow an attacker to effectively see every single thing that you are sending on the network, including content you're exchanging with other people, such as private messages, email communication, and so forth. Given the ability to see a packet, Eve might not only listen to that packet, but might also modify it and re-inject it into the network, potentially after altering the state of the packet. If, additionally, Eve could suppress the original message, Let's consider an attack on authenticity. If in addition to being able to observe packets that traverse the network, Eve could re-inject packets after having modified them and suppress Alice's original message, then Eve could effectively impersonate Alice. This is sometimes called a man in the middle attack. Alice could also make it appear as though this message came from Alice, in which case, the attack would be an attack on message integrity. 